Welcome to the DTN IQ Feed Web Help videos. My name is Curtis Thompson and I'm a Trading Markets Customer Service Rep here for DTN IQ Feed. And today we're going to be discussing how to install IQ Feed via Mozilla Firefox. Firefox uh, icon, generally located on your desktop, is going to be a uh, blue globe with a fire or with a fox around it. And we'll go ahead and double click on that to start it up. And then to go to IQ Feed, we'll want to go up to the address bar and type in www.iqfeed.net and then hit enter. On the IQ Feed website, go ahead and scroll down until you find the support section and below that the link that says download client. We'll go ahead and click on that link which will take us to our download page and right up at the top it'll say download IQ Feed client and it'll show the product of IQ Feed, which is the data stream, the version that is currently available, and the last time it was updated. Finally, it'll have the link to download the actual installer for IQ Feed, which we'll go ahead and click on. And within Firefox, to be able to install uh, any programs, you must save the file first rather than running it like you would in Internet Explorer. So we'll go ahead and hit Save File which will bring up the download window. Once it's done saving it, we'll go ahead and right click on the IQ Feed client and click on open. And sometimes you may get this error message asking you if you want to open up the executable file, which we do. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And then click on run for the security warning. And we'll get the installer window. From here, we'll go ahead and click on Next, and we'll show the destination folder, which by default is going to be uh, under the C drive, Program Files, DTN, IQ Feed. If you are on a 64-bit computer, you will have it will be actually installed to Program Files x86 DTN IQ feed. Since this is a 32-bit computer that we're installing it on, it'll just be under program files. So we'll go ahead and hit install and follow, let it install the program. If you're upgrading from a previous version, the installer will generally go pretty quickly as most of the files are already there and we're just updating some of the uh, outdated information within IQ feed. If it is a new install, the installer may run a little bit longer by maybe 30 seconds to a minute depending on uh, how quickly it installs the additional components that it's required for IQ feed. So from here we'll go ahead and click on next as it did complete and then finish. Now from here IQ feed is installed. However, if you go to your desktop you do not have an icon on your desktop for IQ feed as it is just the data feed. To check for IQ feed, what you can do is come down here to start, all programs, and then locate the folder IQ feed. And it generally will show the current version after IQ feed. Within the IQ feed folder, you can click on diagnostics to test the connection. Within the diagnostics, just click on test. We should get the login screen, and then we should get check marks down the left hand side. This shows that IQ Feed has connected to our servers and we're successfully getting data from our servers to your computer. The other way to check that IQ Feed is running is via the system tray down here, which will be a little round white icon by the computer clock. If you do have any problems or questions getting connected to IQ Feed or getting it installed, please contact us here in support and we'll be happy to take, take a look and help you out.